Paul, of course, we're talking about the volcanic dust cage in the next uh, 24 hours. The wind's out of Iceland driving that volcanic dust more west to east, pushing the main plume into Scandinavia. But it could be a short-lived window because by the end of the weekend, those upper-level winds will be coming down from the northwest once again and any further eruptions could be heading our way. But the crucial thing is how many eruptions we will eventually see. But of course, it will not have a direct impact on our weather this weekend. Certainly today, it's looking lovely out there for the most part. A lot of dry weather around and again, plenty of sunshine. Some of the best conditions across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Yes, the northwest of Scotland will see a bit more cloud. There's one or two spots of rain, but through the central belt and in Northern Ireland with lighter winds, we could see temperatures here around 16 or 17 degrees. 17 is 63 in Fahrenheit. Barely a cloud in the sky at the moment across much of Wales. By 4 o'clock in this afternoon, we'll see a little bit of build up here and there, as will be the case across the southwest, but it does remain dry and fairly sunny for the most part. A little bit more cloud elsewhere across near the Midlands and southern England, so the sunshine amounts will vary from one place to another. But the key here is still that northeasterly wind. So once you're in the shade, temperatures around 14 degrees, not particularly impressive. Nice enough in the sunshine, but making it feel rather cool across East Anglia at 10 or 11 Celsius. Into northwest England, fine and bright, lots of sunshine and a better day compared with yesterday across the northeast. 14 degrees the high, a good four or five degrees higher than we were at this stage yesterday afternoon. Now through this coming night, the winds will continue to ease down across England and Wales. The cloud will melt away, so it's the chilliest conditions here. Some mist and fog patches, and if you've been tending the garden recently, putting the tender plants out, do be wary. Temperatures will be low enough for a touch of grass frost, if not uh, ground frost, away from the city centres. A little bit mild across Scotland and Northern Ireland, that's because we'll see more clouds spill in. So a slightly cloudy day for Northern Ireland and Scotland to start the weekend. Far northwest of Scotland turn increasingly wet as well. Most, however, remain dry and bright. Lovely sunny start across England and Wales. Cloud amounts will generally build through the afternoon, but with wind lighter, it's going to feel warmer out there. 16 or 17 Celsius in the south, still 13 to 15 further north with all cooler conditions pushing into Stornoway. The opposite side of the world though, it's the uh, China Grand Prix this weekend. Uh, temperatures a little bit higher and we could see a bit of rain by the end of Sunday, which should stay dry for much of the race and all the coverage this weekend here on the BBC. Finally, a look at Sunday for ourselves. Dry, reasonably sunny across southern parts of the country, cloudy with a few showers further north, but a big change in the temperatures. 8 degrees in Aberdeen, 18 in London. Enjoy your weekend, Sophie. Ah, thank you very much.